What is going on, everybody? This is Bronco Juggalo, and it's Slashback Saturday. You may be wondering why I chose to film in this direction, in this particular spot. Honestly, it's because I wanted to get my kick-ass Castle Grayskull in the background. That's all. The night's Slashback Saturday theme is Anchor Bay Slashers. Anything that was released by Anchor Bay. Now, I am doing a movie that I no longer own. I used to own it, and I used to have the Anchor Bay. And a person who was supposed to be a friend of mine, who became a heroin addict, stole it, and sold it for fucking heroin money, along with a bunch of other DVDs. So tonight, I am reviewing 1981's Hell Night. Directed by Ton D. Simone, and starring Linda Blair as Marty, Vincent Van Patten as Seth, and Peter Burton as Jeff. A night of fraternity hazing turns into a bloodbath as a deformed killer stalks and kills the pledges. There's a couple cool things about this movie. The tunnel chase was actually based on the movie Terror Train, on the sequence of Terror Train, which I thought was pretty cool. Vincent Van Patten swears that Kevin Costner worked as a grip on this film, even though Kevin Costner's never said he has. The Anchor Bay release was in August of 1999 on DVD. Now, while this film was initially panned by audiences and critics alike, it's since gone on to garner a huge cult following that is very loyal to this film. I myself really enjoyed it. I really did enjoy the movie, guys. Uh, I haven't watched this movie in years, like literally years. I watched it about 10 years. And I couldn't remember a lot of it. So I was very surprised by a lot of the things that happened. I don't understand why people didn't like this movie in the first place. I don't have any real cons for this film. It's not the greatest slasher film ever made. But it was a lot of fun. I really didn't have anything that I wanted to use as a negative. First pro, I like the kills. There's a great beheading right at the beginning of this movie that I really enjoy. And I thought it looked really good. And speaking to that, the gore and makeup practical effects are great in this film. The makeup effects of, our, of what our killer looks like, our deformed killer, is awesome. It looks really good, really nice. The kill and the gore effects when they die, it's not over the top. The blood is very minimal in this movie. But it's done in such a way that it's understated yet done right. And I did enjoy that. Once again, very few directors can pull that off. And it looks like Tom Simone is one of them. I love the scene of Seth finding the head in the bed. It reminded me so much of The Godfather when he finds the horse head. But in this one, it just happens to be a hot sorority chick. I really like Linda's bouncing. For those of you that have watched the movie, you know what I mean. I did not like her costume. If I had to pick a con, it was I didn't like her costume. I thought it was kind of weird. It didn't really look right. But when things bounced, it was fine. I loved the scene of Seth climbing over the fence, over the gate, to get out. I love how the spikes were sharpened to razor sharpness. I thought that was a very cool little touch to put on the film. I remember those kind of fences. I remember those kind of gates. We used to jump over those things, climb over them when I was younger. Now my fat ass probably couldn't even get up a foot. So I wouldn't have to worry about getting impaled because I couldn't get to the top anyways. And the last pro that I have for this movie is the death of the killer. It looks fucking amazing. I thought they did a great job and it's a very invented death. Something you don't see very often, in fact, or at all in a lot of these movies. Uh, I really liked the way it was done. Linda Blair was not great in this movie. I understand that she got a Razzie for her performance. I wouldn't go that far. I just, she did kind of phone this one in a bit. But I still had so much fun with it, it wasn't a con. Guys, I really did enjoy Hell Night. I do recommend that you go and see it. I also recommend that you check out everybody else doing Slashback Saturday. The, and then, of course... Don't forget to give a big what's up and support to Joe the Horror Man who created Slashback Saturday. My super slash brother and a great friend. One of my best friends. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of news. Later on today, I will be putting up a review on another channel. I have been asked, and I'm very honored to have been asked, to be the Saturday reviewer for the channel Body Bags. Uh, this is something Jason started doing a couple weeks ago. And... I guess one of their other reviewers decided he didn't want to do it anymore. And Jason put my name forward. Amongst, I'm sure there were others. I don't know. I didn't really get into all that. But they reached out to me and asked me if I would do it. So I'm very happy to do that for them. 
So go over to Body Bags later on today to look for my review there. I won't be putting those reviews on my channel as well because I may review them later on on my channel in a different context. But there will be a playlist on my channel for them under the name Body Bags. Guys, this is Bronco Juggalo saying I hope you enjoyed this review. I want to thank you all for being great supporters of my channel. By the way, 1,000 subs contest coming very soon. I ordered the prizes. They should be on their way. As soon as they get here, I will start announcing that contest and get that going. Bronco Juggalo saying, peace. <laughs>